Here's a view of the cardboard lattice uh, being installed and we'll kind of take you through that from start to finish. Uh, here is start and you see these formers uh, that are shaping sidewalls leading into a tunnel. Basic terrain shape. On top of those basic terrain shapes use little cardboard clips and they're hot glued to the formers and then the strips are put in then we weave in the lattice strips, just alternating over and under. Hot glue those, use clothespins for the clips. Uh, those only take a moment or a few minutes to dry or get firm. And then we add the masking tape. After the masking tape, put a coat of latex paint or two. And then after that, a lightweight uh, plaster mix. So that's a view of the scenery construction from finish back to start and from start to finish. The cardboard lattice has been extended over the previous work area. You see the clothespins in place on the last part where we transition into the rock cut. Here's another view of the completed area looking back to the southwest. And a view of the tunnel approach cut. A little bit more on the application of the masking tape. Uh, call me anal retentive, but I've kind of decided that going on the diagonal and crossing uh, is a way to go. I uh, also try to uh, keep up with the ditch line on the edge of embankments and also on the edge of cut. And, uh, we beveled the original roadbed to help uh, create those ditch lines. You can just let each piece uh, go in with a slight overlap and then just take a little time, feed the tape down as you go, keep your ditch lines intact, hopefully give you plenty of room when the uh, paint and plaster go on over the tape. Then add another strip uh, going either direction until you begin to fill up the gaps and then you can go forward. Okay we've got some strips in now. We've kind of uh, closed the gap from the point where the X started in the middle. Close the gap at the top. Close the gap at the bottom. Maintain the ditch line, just keep it going with your fingers. Trim it off with an X-Acto knife. Now we're ready to go forward and head for the tunnel cut. So you just keep on that process, uh, repeating, repeating, and you make progress. And after a while you've got a whole lot of taped terrain. So we've just about finished the main body of Red Mountain. Obviously got a little work to do on the near side for the mine spur, which is the higher track, and then the main line is the lower so track. We now have a good bit of work done on both sides of Red Mountain, north face of Red Mountain with the mine locations on the other side of that aisle. And one thing I never have identified in these recent videos is this area. This is going to be a uh, power plant and uh, coal unloading point for the power plant. So that's the status of Red Mountain. You see a tree on the horizon, uh, sort of like a topping out part. So we're making progress and hope you've enjoyed it.